Hey, we found a KOA with a hometown feel, and we're going to take you there now. Hey y'all, I'm Jimmy. And I'm Lisa. Today you'll find us camping at Huntington Foxfire KOA in Milton, West Virginia, which is just outside of Huntington. As we pull in, the office is on your right, you'll see the gem mine, and right behind that is a family restroom. And as we pull on through to your right are going to be the back end sites and pretty much everything to the left just pull through. There are a few back ends on that side. Um, they have quite a variety of sites at this park. They have everything from a tent site to a grass site to gravel site. We stayed in a standard 50 amp site, but they also had what they called premium patio sites. These sites had patio furniture, fire pits, and a gas grill. Gas grill. And I forgot to mention, all of that furniture, patio, gas grill is on a concrete pad. Where you park is still gravel, but that area is all on concrete. It's pretty nice. Most of their sites also include cable TV. As we pull on through, we'll come to the family restrooms and shower. Also in this building is the laundry facility. Because this campground has just uh, reopened and is still only partially open based on the government shutdown. Thank goodness we got in. Yeah, we were very lucky because the week before they were still closed. So we were fortunate to get back in on our way back from Indiana. Um, the laundry facility is, however, open, just not the bathhouses or the shower facilities. Laundry, if you need to do laundry there, in that particular bathhouse, they have four washers and four dryers. The washers are $2 per load and the dryers are $1.50 for 30 minute intervals. Of course, you can add change for additional time. After we go past that building, there is the dog park, which is a nice fenced in area with lots of equipment for the dogs to climb on, jump through, um, you know, whatever. We didn't have the dogs with us at this, on this trip, but it was a very nice park for the dogs. Next to the dog park are the camping cabins that are right against the water. Uh, it's pond number three, which we call it. And it's another one of those catch and release ponds. The camping cabins are just your basic cabin. So um, no bathroom, shower, kitchen, anything like that. And then as you leave that area is also where the dumpsters are for this park. Um, as you come back around the other side of the pond, and up the back stretch, there are some deluxe cabins. Uh, those are going to be ones that have showers, kitchens, that kind of thing. But they didn't have the view of the pond. They didn't. Now we're getting ready to pass the second family restroom. There is no showers in these. It's just the restroom. It also has the, the uh, laundry facilities in there too. So The only difference in this laundry facility and the last one is this one only has two washers and two dryers. We're going to head on back up to the other two ponds. On the way through, we're going to pass through the office, which is where they have bikes for rent. Um, and they also sell the patio furniture that is on the deluxe patio sites. So um, it is like the vinyl, so it's not wooden. You don't have to paint it, so it's very low maintenance. Uh, pretty much anything in the park, any areas where you can sit, even swings are made out of the same furniture. So it's pretty nice, sturdy furniture. Um, just past that is the kids playground and there's a picnic area and then when you get to the biggest of the ponds that that is on the premises um the one side it's is a swimming pond yeah it's roped off and uh for swimming there's a deck out in the middle with a ladder i guess so you could jump in the water and then the other end of it is catch and release fishing um there was a couple of swings around the edges and picnic tables so you could you know come down and sit swing Watch the geese, the ducks. Now, there is some big fish in there. We, we saw a couple a couple nice ones in there. I think you saw a catfish. I saw a big old catfish. Um, and then past that pond, or I guess as you circle back around, is another pond that's just catch and release fishing. No swimming in that one either. Um, and then we are going to go back to our site. We had just a standard 50 amp pull through site. It was plenty long enough that um, we didn't because it was chilly when we were there, but you, we could have put the patio down. We had plenty of room for that. Um, there wasn't a fire ring, but there was an area on the ground where you could have There's a, fire. a fire spot. Yeah. And there was two picnic tables on our site and we had cable TV. So, uh, there was of course sites that were a step up and there were some that were, you know, smaller sites, but it was a good site for us. This is the first time we've stayed in this campground. 
usually um, I say stay. This is the first time we've stayed in this campground for any length of time. Usually it's an overnight stop on our way home. This time we spent a couple days there. It is a quaint family run campground. So you get that feeling of, um, you know, like a hometown feeling, but it is a KOA. So you still have the amenities that you're used to if you camp at a KOA. We normally use this for a one nighter when we're usually when we're coming back from Indiana or up north coming back towards Virginia where we live but we decided to stay an extra night because we wanted to see one special place that we see every time that we go by there. Hillbilly Hot Dogs. So if you haven't been you should check it out. If you're interested be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. So when we put a video out we're going to do a review on Hillbilly Hot Dogs. You don't want to miss that. We have AT&T and I think we had three bars the whole time so we had pretty good service where we were the whole time out there. So if you're looking for a small homey feeling campground that has the amenities you're used to at a KOA this is a great stop. We really enjoyed our stay there. The staff is always super friendly, very helpful. Um, it is in Milton, West Virginia which is near Huntington. Not far from Charleston. Yeah, we did take a drive into Charleston for the day, and, and we enjoyed that as well. It is nestled directly between Interstate 64 and Route 60. So um, if you're familiar with that area at all, it's just a neat little campground, very well kept, very friendly. We will definitely return. We've been there multiple times. This is the first time staying more than once, and we really enjoyed ourselves. Until the next time you find us camping. Safe travels, everyone.